There are a few ways to achieve that filmic look in camera before you ever touch anything in your post-processing work. One of those things is taking advantage of your lighting setup, the directionality of the light, using proper white balance to make sure that your color style is appropriate for the film that you're making, adding atmosphere with things like fog or haze. But one of the easiest ways you can achieve a filmic look is by using diffusion filters. Things like the trendy but effective Tiffin Black Pro Mist and Moments Cinebloom filters. Today I'm using actually something a little bit different, but it will give you a similar look. And it's actually a cheaper alternative that I think will stand out from the crowd a bit more. This is a vintage soft focus filter. I actually found this at a thrift shop. It came with an SLR and a whole bunch of other accessories including this one for like less than 25 bucks. A really neat find. The advantage of using diffusion filters like this one or the other ones that I mentioned is that you can use your in-camera footage rather than having to go into post-processing and further degrading your image <clears throat> to achieve that contrast that you like or reducing the sharpness of that image. Now that's not to say that you shouldn't do some post-processing, it's just this will give you a nice starting point. I'm going to roll some footage with and without the filter so that you can decide for yourself if this is a look that you like. The other great thing is how it desaturates the shadows and slightly blooms those highlights. This type of filter was commonly used in glamour portrait photography to soften the skin a bit and get a sort of dreamy vibe around the edges. I use it for atmospheric photography where the subject is eerie or melancholy and it works really well for darker scenes like those in horror films. Maybe in the future I should do a comparison video taking the Moment Cinebloom and the Promis filters comparing them to vintage ones like these. Everyone seems to be using those and for good reason they're really great fantastic filters but why not experiment with vintage if you can find them cheaply or maybe you already have them lying around somewhere. A big plus to using these older vintage filters is that you can achieve a unique look that probably wasn't replicated anywhere else. You might stumble upon a look that no one else can really achieve themselves and that's worth trying in my opinion. Please consider subscribing if you like filmic content like this. This channel is still quite small and my analytics show me that a lot of my viewers are not yet subscribed. And if you like the type of photos that you saw at the beginning of this video, please go follow my Instagram page linked in the description below. See you next time.